Yo right lads, this is the George Jetta here doing my next football season review. Liverpool have had an amazing season. They finished second and they should have won the Premier League, you know, it was Gerard slip among other things, but there were a couple of other things that really messed up their season and that only got them second. So you know when you have two or three big mess ups and you end up second you have to say that they're a brilliant team so they should have won the Premier League you know Man City didn't deserve it in my opinion I mean good on them for doing it but they didn't deserve it Liverpool did deserve to win the Premier League you know for me it was just their defence and Skirtle Skirtle scored four own goals in a Premier League season which is a record you know, he. I think Skirtle, amongst others, cost them in the defence mainly. You know, Jose Enrique didn't do that well. They brought in Flanagan, who did all right, but you know, he's very young. He's very new to the game, so that you know, for him to be the top left back is a position they need to work on desperately. Um, midfield didn't have a massive amount of creativity. Coutinho did his best. Gerard was brilliant. This season, Coutinho does have creativity, but I mean, they need probably one more person. As of today, I know they've put in a 25 million bid for Lalana, and Lalana would be perfect. And as of today, they've undergone a medical. Ricky Lambert's undergone a medical at Liverpool. Be a good choice for him because if Sturridge or Suarez is injured, especially if they're going for champion in the Champions League, you know, then they they're in trouble. Because Suarez scored 31 goals this season in all competitions. You know, amazing. He scored 9 goals in December, which is a prep. No, not 9. 11 goals, sorry. In December, which is a Premier, which is the first Premier League striker to do it in one month to reach double figures. So, I'll be honest, 11 might not be completely right, but he definitely reached double figures, which is amazing for a month in the Premier League. Daniel Sturridge scored 25, not as good as Suarez, but 25 is still an amazing goal tally. You know, they should have won the Premier League. They, des they deserved to win the Premier League. Just, you know, the draw pa against Palace, losing at Aston Villa at home. They needed a better home record. Um, losing to Chelsea towards the end of the season. <laughs> you know, they screwed everything up, especially the Chelsea game, for me, in my opinion. I think it was the Chelsea game that really fucked things up but you know second place Champions League next season is absolutely amazing for them you know they weren't even in the Europa League this this season they didn't have any European game I think that really helped them actually they didn't have the burden of Europe whereas Chelsea in particular did and Man City ended up going out relatively early but again you know, start of the season, they were the ones that were having a bit of bother as well. For me, next season is going to be amazing. If Liverpool do what every other club I'm pretty much going to talk about should do is invest. Now, luckily, you know, um, Liverpool are investing. You know, like I say, they might have Ricky Lambert by the end of today because he's undergoing a medical. Um, Lilana, they might have him. Him by maybe 1st of July, you know, or maybe because obviously before he goes to the World Cup is preferable, but I don't think 25 million will get him. I think it'll just be below Southampton's va valuation, they'll probably want 30 million. If they get him, good on them. To be honest, but it'd be stupid from Southampton, you know, they've already lost Pochettino. But Liverpool invest, you know, backup striker, hopefully on the way today, you know. But, an amazing amount of creativity in midfield if they get Lalana. But funny enough, something that hasn't been mentioned much is defenders. They haven't been mentioned, which is the one place where they need backup. You know, I don't, I, I like Aga. Um, Johnson's been terrible this season, but I don't think he's a bad player. He's just, you know, he's not, he's not going to get you. He doesn't deserve to be in a second place team. He's not that good. Um, obviously they've got Enrique. Who's become second choice behind Flanagan, who's alright, but he's still very young. You know, the need to bring in. There's also Ali Sissoko, you know, and he's I think he's on loan, so he might be leaving if he isn't. Still. 
you know, they need a top left back. For me, maybe David Alaba, I know he's big and he's in Bayern Munich and, you know, but to be honest, I think Alaba could probably do with a change himself. Liverpool would be perfect in my opinion, but you'd have to spend through, you'd have to spend a massive amount to bring David Alaba. Centre-backs, again, you know, there's, there isn't a massive amount of choice, I suppose. They, they want someone who's, br you, you just want someone who's brilliant, who's an amazing centre-back. And there aren't many. There aren't many that will move. If it could, for me, Cahill would be the perfect choice, but you won't get him. Unless, or if you do, brilliant. But I mean, very unlikely. So, I say good luck to you. Next season, this season you deserve to win the Premier League. Next season, I hope you do. Unless it's Newcastle, but I doubt it. Anyways, it's been the Geordie Jedi. Leave a like if you want, subscribe if you want, comment if you want. I've already had a small argument with someone. Well, not me, one of me. One of my subscribers has already had a somewhat small argument. Anyways, may the force be with you.